Hello and welcome to the Sat On My Butt channel. I'm at the hive and as you can see, I have bees. Yes, I lost my colony at the beginning of the year and a couple of days ago, Nicholas, who gave me the swarm last year, sent me a message and said, I've got a swarm, do you want them? And he came over and helped me put them into the hive. So we're all off. But what I wanted to talk about today was accessibility with beekeeping. Now, the reason I chose the top bar hive, and if you go to satonmybutt.co.uk, on there are the plans. And at this point, I want to say a big thank you to the guru, the beekeeping guru, who is Mr. Phil Chandler. Look for him on YouTube or Bio Bees, I believe is his website. When I was considering going into beekeeping, could I do it as a wheelchair user? Is it possible? It was watching Phil's videos that made me realize, yes, I could do it from an accessibility point of view. Yes, I could do it from a chronic health point of view. Yes, I could do it from a poor financial point of view as well. Because there's many considerations as a wheelchair user. And as I say, one of them was hive type. That your standard sort of um, hives that everybody recognizes when they think of a beehive, it's that square shape with the boxes is a no-go for me. Those boxes can wait I was a ton. That's a, a turn of phrase, but they're very heavy. I'm not going to do that in my wheelchair. And as you put another one and another one, as they fill those up, those supers, I'm just not going to manage it. I'm not going to handle it. But also I chose the top bar hive and I'm not going to open it up, even though if I lift the lid, obviously they're still sealed in by the top bars. I chose the top bar hive design because it's so accessible. Look, if I wheel in, now, you can see a square piece at the end, that's just on the end, but underneath, what it does is it follows this line. It's a V shape. It's like this shape, it's like a trough. And so as I wheel up and I push my legs in and I then, there's ruts there where I've had my wheels and I'm solid and it's like working at a desk. It's all there laid out in front of me and I can work away with my tools and I'm not lifting anything heavier than one bar at a time, even a bar full of honey, you know, gets a little bit weighty, but it's still doable for me. And so that's why I've chosen the top bar hive or the Kenyan hive as they are called. People have said to me, well, what about the horizontal hive? And what that is, is it is again, obviously horizontal, but it takes the standard frames from a standard beehive and they're then laid out in horizontal fashion. Yes, it would work. Yes, obviously it's low, it's at this level. But for me, because it is this square shape, it hasn't got that V to it, I would only be able to push in to my knees to there. So that means quite a lot. It's all about reach. It's like in the kitchen, we don't have an accessible kitchen. So to work at a sink or to make a cuppa, I've got to lean in unless I go sideways and then everything becomes more awkward. It's about working safely but also conserving energy for someone with chronic health like me, I suffer a lot from fatigue. So I've got to think about every, every single aspect of it. How's it going to make me feel once I've done it? Am I going to manage it safely? And that is, you know, the reason that these are good is this is a very natural way of keeping bees. And Phil Chandler, his video showed me, he had a video and he said, I haven't touched this hive for, I'm going to say a year. I think it was longer than a year he hadn't touched this hive. And it just shows me that if I'm having a poor patch of health, even if it's a month long flare up, they're gonna be fine. All I'm merely doing here is I'm providing the queen and the ladies with a home to do their bit. Yes, I will go and inspect, but very rarely. These have just gone in as a swarm. I'm not even gonna to attempt to look inside for at least four weeks. It's a very hands-off method of beekeeping. Yes, if you lose a colony, it's horrible, but it's about survival of the fittest. If we're going to fight all these different pests and everything that are coming in for beekeeping, we need to only let the strongest colonies survive. Otherwise, if we're bolstering weak communities, as I've heard from uh, Bizzlebugs Joe on Twitter has told me, it's no good. We want the strongest to survive and the strongest to carry on and breed and breed to get stronger and stronger bees and more resistant bees. And hopefully, that is what I'm helping to do here. But for me, it's just an honor. I'm getting up close and personal to witness and to look inside the hive and be close to these amazing creatures, these incredible insects that I've learned so much from and about. But that is that. That is why I've chosen the top bar hive. Go to satonmybutt.co.uk. There are the plans and uh, I've made this out of ply 
and uh, there's the cutting plans on there out of a sheet of ply to build this. It's possible, it's doable. Look into it. There's lots of information on the internet. There's lots of people willing to help. It's, you know, it, it's not all barriers. I have faced barriers with some beekeepers who are sort of like, you're not keeping a traditional hive. You're not to, doing this traditionally and put up barriers. There's people out there who are absolutely amazing and are encouraging people to keep become beekeepers. So if you're a wheelchair user or you've got a disability, it is possible. Yes, I need help sometimes, but look into it. It's wonderful. And there's nothing better on a nice day to lay on a sun lounger and just watch them coming and going with all the pollen on their legs and doing their orientation flights as they're doing now. Absolute privilege to be up close and personal with them. And that is that. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I know what you're going to say is sat there in shorts and a t-shirt. They're interested in what they're doing. They've got work to do. They're busy. They don't care about me. I've got a very lovely, calm colony. I won't annoy them. They won't annoy me. That is that. I will see you next time. Take care.